Welcome back, fellow ground strategists. My name is Danny Stone, and I'm delighted for you guys to be able to join me today for another episode of Imperator Rome, playing as Republic of Carthage. So in the last episode, not really much happened. It was mainly me getting to grips with what we did before, saying some more administration stuff, conversion, assimilation, buildings being built, all this to try and make sure we get the most out of what we've got. Now, in this episode, I'm going to continue along this line because uh, I have 10 aggressive expansion. I do want to reduce it down to zero before I go to war again, which gives us time to convert and assimilate to make the realm more stable. I do want to build some mines, some farming estates, some slave estates and all sorts of them things there. I also want to improve opinion with Egypt so I can get the mission going so we can actually do trade partners of old. I also would like to integrate Gymnasia. Why might you ask? Well, in Palmer here, they have precious metals. Now, if I can integrate that and then move a hell of a load of slaves into the settlement and build a mine and get surplus, I could import it into my capital. Now, importing as, well, having a surplus of precious metals in the capital is going to be awesome because it increases pop assimilation speed by 10%. And then if I produce a further extra resource of precious metals and export increases the assimilation speed by a further 5%. So I can potentially get an extra 15% pop assimilation speed. And that coupled with the extra I have for conversion due to a law, I have the Deny Priest and Senate, which increases pop conversion speed by 20%. That's going to be incredibly helpful in order to convert and assimilate our conquered lands. And as you can see, the assimilation is going nice and nicely over here. Look, it's in the Italian peninsula. It's all slowly turning into Canaanite, which is great. Culture-wise, uh, we are slowly getting the Punic culture established. Uh, Sicily's still got a way to go, uh, but it is getting there. I think we have the right policy. Do we? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, look. Haha, <laughs> really got religious. I need to change it to cultural assimilation. And there as well I do. Yeah, I actually forgot to change that, which we will do now. There we go. Here I'm going to leave it on religious conversion just because there is a few left over here. I want to get the city of Heraclea done. I will move some pops around in there at some point to kind of get it going quicker. If I can move some um, some Canaanite pops in there to increase the number of Canaanite pops, it would be nice. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do that a bit later on. Um, anyway, let's start things off by improving the opinion with Gymnasia. Now, all of this so I can actually... Well, relation action, there we go. I'm proving their opinion so I can integrate them and I definitely want to integrate them. Uh, that's done. Let's also improve opinion of with, oh no, Egypt. They won't be a, oh I can't they've already improved to a max. Yeah, I probably need some tech to help me with that at some point. Tech and of course the, um, how to put it, the, um, the policy of, let's have a look which one it is. It is not that one. And there we go. Hospitium, improve maximum opinion for 70%. I know there's some tech that increase it further in there at some point. I have gone past them, but I probably should go back and get it if I actually take some of this tech at some point. But it doesn't matter. We'll do that in a bit. That's not a problem at all. Uh, let's get the game started here. Bim, bam, and boom. And now I definitely want to get some buildings going. So can I build? Oh, look, I can build so much stuff here. So what we're going to do is just going to build as much stuff as we can get here. I just want to kind of make sure we get as much out of this place as possible. Um, so let's build one there. Let's just get it all going here. It will all be nice to do. It is going to cost a fair bit, but I think it's going to be definitely worth it. All this for that extra food, extra kind of... Oh yeah, we get a couple of surpluses here. We'll definitely get a lot of food surplus that we could export, which would be fantastic. Um, so let's go for the farms, let's go here, let's go there as well, let's keep it all rolling. And then we'll move on to the mines and then the slave estates and everything which loads down here as well. Um, anyway, flocking to the banner. So the honourable people of Latium have turned out in drove to see their renowned general Persilipos Lagid lead his troops on the way to Greater Glorious. Um, yeah, hmm, where is Latium? Uh, I don't want him to lose. So Persilipos Lagid gains five loyal cohorts of a land and type. Let's have a look. Where is he? So he gained... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of him. That there. And I'm also going to get rid of... What's that? Is that heavy? Oh, no. So that there. Uh, that as well. And I need to get rid of one horseman, which I will do. There we go. And I will select them and I will disband them. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want him to have more men. It kind of breaks up the equilibrium of my of my armies, and I don't want to do that. Uh, military experience is okay. It's not too bad. Who are these guys? Are these allied with anybody? Are they give tribute to Rome? So yeah, we could take these out. It would be nice, but not yet. I think I want to take out Messapia first. But that is for a bit later on. 
Now we've got some buildings going. How much money do we make? Yep, 33 gold. We're going to make more after all this. We do need to really focus on making as much money as we can here because I want more money so I can buy more tech. I can have more men, more armies and everything. So uh, let's go here, here, here. Let's keep the buildings going. I have really bad tech research. But that's because, yeah, it's because we have a lot of pops and we don't have enough citizens. So we need more citizens. Oh, I need a new governor in Italia now. God, we have really bad people. It's just crazy. I'm going to put Melkart's Barker. Oh, he's the best man for the job, but he's not fantastic, is he? And he's got the wrong policy. I want religious conversion first, please, people. Here, I want... Oh, here's all that's fine. So he can put what he wants here. So he's put... Yeah, that's fine. What about over here? This is the one that we need to change. Oh, it's nearly all... Oh, that's so close. But I do need to convert... How long is this going to take? You know what? I'll leave that on assimilation. I don't want to waste my points. There's only one tiny bit of land here that is not um, Canaanite. So I'm just going to leave that like that for this time. But at this point... Could I... Oh, I can colonise some land here. This would be nice. Uh, what do I want to colonise though? What resources do I want? So what about... that's? Oh, we could get some in this... Um, oh. Get some cloth here, why not? Yeah, let's find a colony there. That's fine. Can I find any more colonies? Um, we'll just do this event and I'll look afterwards. Autonomy. So the industrious folk of Deseria have excelled themselves, contributing their own personal funds to develop the infrastructure of their fine city. So territory in Deseria going to granary. Yeah, why not? I'll just give you a granary. It's free. It don't cost anything, so we might as well. Here I can. Maybe if I were to colonise that there as well, it would be an extra bit of stone. I mean, why not? Yep, that's fine. What about down here? I can colonise some more land here as well. Maybe get some wine. Yeah, why not? Let's just colonise. Oh, I can colonise a fair bit as well. Ooh. Yeah, let's get this land going. This is like major land grab here. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Let me have that. Uh, what is it here? We've got the culture changing here at the moment but there's some religious stuff to do i'm going to change this back to religious conversion just because we have a few uh, territories here that i do want to convert it's not going to take very long because there is not many pops in them so it should go quite quickly uh, here i can't colonize any more what about down here can't do it there oh i can colonize mizab yeah why not let's colonize mizab as well it's more it's more stuff more stuff more land more everything uh, the Amidian fleet lacks a uh, general, but I'm not going to place one because, um, yeah, it's less wages, so why not? <laughs> less wages, so I'm definitely not going to put it on. Uh, let's go for some more farming settlements down here. Don't need to go down there just yet. I'll save my money. It's not developed enough. Here, here, and here. Definitely go there as well. Uh, maybe down here, down here, and that's fine. What do these guys want? These want wine from Zaba. Be my guest. Because with these farms, we'll make plus food which means more potential for export which is all good now you aren't drilling are you my friend no you're not you should be the sardinia governor is not as well so you need to be on drill as well my dear friend so we're going to be making a little bit less money but it's only temporary as you can see we've got a lot of these farming settlements coming which is going to mean excess resources which would be nice um what can i do next probably probably to save up and probably go for the probably go for the mines next i mean there's a lot of mines over here i mean hell yeah we can develop this land so well and just get so much more cash it's definitely going to be worth it what do these guys want cilicia want to import cloth that's it be my guest fellas and to detain you want veggies no problem be my guest take the vegetables haha -ha, look at that the punic the um, canaanite religion is spreading like wildfire I do like that. And then next we move on to the culture conversion, which will be fantastic. Um, how long is this going to take down here? Let's say, let's just have a look at some of the pots. Simulation, yeah, it goes up by 3% per month. It's going to go really quickly. And I do want to kind of make sure we um, assimilate as much as we can before we go to war, just because that I do like making sure that we have a really large majority of our kind of own culture, just because... If you have loads of different cultures and the main culture is um, kind of not as dom like not as dominant as it is now, it does cause problems with rebellions and stuff. Um, I am probably also next episode going to take off this auto save because it is really a pain in the backside. It's making the game jam. Well, not jam. It's making it kind of lag a little bit. 
Anyway, an optional tithe. So the head of the devout religious faction has approached to do the broad smile on his face. Without a trace of a sickly grin leaving his visage, he politely offers the support of a portion of the religious faction. Um, yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Do I... Yeah, I'm not bothered. I'm going to lose a bit of lore to the Sephat and Omen power goes down, but it is what it is. I don't want to lose that cash. I need that cash. I want to build my mines. I can also get a load of slave estates. Wow, you can get so many slave estates. Uh, they want livestock, no problem. I don't know why I didn't build these before. I probably should have, to be honest, but hey, it is what it is. So um, let's get building some more buildings. Boom, boom. Let's get a load of extra resources. Um, get you there. There we go. And the to import grain. Be my guest. Be my guest, be my guest. The more the more we can export, the better. Do I have an extra surplus of stuff? Yeah, I have a couple of surplus now with the with the extra farms. Let's just have a look as well all over the place where I've built them. We should have a few, or am I missing just a tiny amount of slaves, maybe? Yeah, look here, like we're missing one look. So I'm going to try and move a pop in here, move one slave. I'll do the event first. Um, March of time, our guy is becoming... He's got diphtheria, so he's dying slowly. But um, it is what it is. Let's move one in there. See, that gives me a surplus there. Um, just quickly go around, go through these places. Ooh, wow. Oh, this is a nice city, actually. Wow. And this reminds me, we could build some cities in Sardinia as well. I definitely will at some point. Here, see, I can move another... Let's move another pop in there from... Uh, where can I move from? Let's move from the bottom here. Boom, there we go. That gives us an extra surplus. They want grain from Mozalamia. They want livestock from Zibitania. No problem. Keep giving these resources. Um, let's just go on the trade good map mode. It'll be easier to find. 10, 10 there. Okay, we're about here. There's 14. That's fine. Why? There. What's... I'm not making any surplus there, am I? No, I'm not. Wow. Jesus Christ. So many so many people asking for stuff. Um, how many do I need? Eight. Yeah, let's move two pops in there. Um, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Uh, six, seven, and eight. Why not? There we go. Okay, so now I have a surplus in there. Uh, yeah, uh, this is. You're probably going to think this is really tedious, but it's something that I'm ready to do, and I think it's really worth it because we can really maximise our potential by exporting a hell of a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to quickly go over all these quickly. So here I've got a farm. I need ten, so I'm just going to move two more in. Let's go for one and two. There we go. That's all good stuff. Here's fine. What about the livestock next? Let's quickly check the livestocks. Yeah, honestly, it really is worth your time um, doing this just because that you will get a load of extra surplus. I mean, now I need 10 here, so I'm going to move a couple of slaves. 7, 8, 9, 10, sorry, 3. Uh, we're going to move the 3 from 1, maybe 2 and 3. There we go. That's all fine. That's all done. That's all good. Um, let's quickly finish with the livestock. I think I have enough down here. Not enough there. Enough there. Yep, that's all. That's all pretty cool. Okay, so now we should have a few extra surplus coming in. So let's quickly do this here. The spider want fish, no problem. Uh, Vacanti want grain, no problem. That's fine. Come on, guys, keep asking for the resources. The more you ask, the better it is for me, and the more money we'll end up making. So here we go. Ancona wants import grain. What do they want? They want fish. Oh no, I declined the offer. Damn. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Um, yep, everything's going nice and smoothly. Dalmatia want fish from Byzastis. That's fine also. All that is good. Let's keep going for the mines. Um, mine, mine, and maybe a mine here, which is fine. The tools of the establishment. So the victory of the known populace, Milkvilles Madonna, in the consular elections was always going to be a source of great consternation among the so-called more traditional factions of the Senate. But it had become clear that the nomination of the Kosafet to Samura de Hanid was in fact a shrewd manoeuvre ensured by the oligarch to tie the populist hands while in government. Naturally, Milkpiles is not displeased, nor will he allow Zim Rida, who he has run up against previously in his political career, to get in his way. Among the first motions proposed by Milkpiles is a moderate and carefully reasoned bill ensuring that deserving veterans are granted land upon completing their service. So, uh, will attempt to circumvent the Senate anyway, upsetting the traditionalists, so I gain popularity, or well, the Suffolk does. Uh, lose uh, loyalty, the co consul loses loyalty, I think. I know he's the head of the Handed family, not the co consul. Um, or what happens? I lose popularity, gain a bit of loyalty, and I gain political influence. Yeah, why not? Let's gain a little bit of political influence. That's fine by me. 
Uh, progress in the Senate after long and terrible tiring committee sessions, Suffolk, Milk Pillars, and Co. Suffolk and Merida have come to an agreement and hampered out a bill in which, will, uh, in which, while far from the wide ranging legislation promised by the people, will be accepted by the Conservative faction in the Senate. Uh, so, what unacceptable, or they will have to do for now? Oh, I lose five support for the populist faction. Yes, please. And I gain political influence. Yes, please. Please, please, please. Be my guest. That is fine. Uh, what can I do here now? Maybe go for some more installed provincial procurators, which we are definitely going to do. Um, I've got uh, level six now, um, a religious tech, which is fine. But I don't want to get any tech just yet. It's going to do all these trade offers, which is also fine. Ah, now I have a few. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Because we're going to be making more cash, which is what we want. Which is definitely what we want and what we need. Um, so let's go for mine there. That is fine. Fish from there as well. That's fine. So po Piria, they want fish. Be my guest. Build another mine in there, which is also fine. Yeah, this is cool. This is going to make sure that we get that extra surplus that we need. See, look, we're now up to 40 per month now. So it's getting better. It is getting a lot better. And then it will be a lot better once we do all of the um, of the what's it, the um, slave estates as well, because they're going to increase our um, our slave output, which would be nice. Um, so what's this? Uh, Tamagane, Tamagane, you want fish from Retubis? Be my guest as well. More cash up to forty one now. All oh, this is fantastic. Uh, let's get another mine going, maybe in here, which would be good. Oh, there, there we go. See another mine. Mine in there would be nice. And we already have uh, fifteen slaves in there. Which would be fantastic. Uh, fish, no problem, you can have that. And Edutania want base medals as well. That is also very fine. Our aggressive expansion is slowly reduced, which is nice. Um, these guys are just allied with... Rome. Okay, so I can take out Masapia as well, probably next. That's going to be the next war. I could take out some of Rome's land as well. We'll get over on this side, that would be really nice. Um, what about these guys? Can I integrate these just yet? Not just yet. Hmm. Not far off, though. Not far off. Um, anyway, someone died. Who died? Someone from the Bedonid family. Oh, it was the Amrils. So I'm going to put someone from the uh, Bedonid family in there. Let's put... No, not you, because you could be a good general. Land general. I'm going to put you guys. 17 years old. 17 years of age, sorry. Six marshal. Why not? Boom. Put you in there. And that gets rid of the Scorn family thing. Uh, they want vegetables, so who is it? Arcadia, no problem, be my guest. More cash now, 48 now. We're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. Let's go for the mines. Um, down here. Go for mine. There, there, and there. Should give us some more. How many slaves do we have? Yeah, we have slaves. We're going to get surplus all over the place here. I'm going to move one more pop in there just to kind of... Yeah, I'll move one from... Where? Yeah, it's going to move from here. Boom. Just so we can get that extra surplus again in there. Uh, Athens want livestock. That's fine. They want livestock as well. That is also good. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Gortina want livestock. That's fine also. Come on. The more cash we have, the better it would be. That's fine. In Zexi, I'll build a mine as well. Yeah, well, we can get, re yeah, we can get loads of stuff. So now we've got all them gone, or all the mines done, what we need is the slave estates. And we're going to save up a lot of money, and then we're just going to slave estate the crap out of our homeland. And then we'll probably do the same with what we've got over here, just to make sure we maximise our profits. And then we should be able to be fine to probably maybe invest in some tech and get some more units. 43 is not bad. It's not bad. I probably don't even need more men, to be honest. I mean, we have 193 cohorts. Another one would be nice. Uh, Egypt want grain, that's fine, and uh, Caterigia want wine also, that's also fine. Can I do any more trade with anybody? Do I have any available trade routes anywhere else? Oh, I have a load. So would anybody want stuff? I mean, some stone. That's from myself. Yeah, I think it's only flight stuff I can get from myself, to be honest. Yeah, nobody really wants to trade with us. Which is a shame, really. It is what it is. Now, what do these want? Stone, that is also fine, be my guest. What about up here? Can these import anything? No, it's all from myself. There's nothing really we can... Oh, Kubia we can. Yes, let's import that. That's more cash. <laughs> please, please, please. I can't do anything else there. What about here? Um, maybe cloth? Oh, yes, from the fridge. Definitely, let's get some of that cloth going. Um, what else could I... Could I import some over here? Dyes, maybe? Nope, that's from myself. 
Um, no, nah, nothing else. Oh well, that's a little bit of extra cash. Anyway, lending a hand. So the civic faction and the populist faction have often been at odds. Nonetheless, Yehomik Badona has approached with an olive branch. So he wants what? He wants. We gave him a favour off this guy, but he will support us. Yeah, I mean, the civic faction is fine. I'll have a favour with the civic faction. Is this guy dying? He is dying. Good. That means we'll get rid of the populist guy. Um, subject opinion of us plus 10. Endorse party cost minus 20%. And war score cost minus 5%. They're the tech options available for us to buy, but I don't want any at the moment. What we need is money. Money, 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 so we can actually go through the tech. So it's probably why, in the end, I've changed my mind. I'm not actually going to increase the size of our armies. We do have a lot of men, and it's more than enough. I would sooner make a lot of cash so we can quickly eat through the tech afterwards. What is our tech like now? 68%. It's going up, but could be better. It's definitely need to solve that out before we really do anything else. We need to make really make more money and solve the tech issue. Um, anyway, let's go for the slave states now. Wow, look at how many we can build. Now we need to really choose where we're going to build them here. Oh man, we're going to be we're going to make a hell of a lot of money. I mean, this one here increases our base tax by 0. We gain extra 0.26 per month for this one here, which we're going to do. It is now the civic faction in power, which is fantastic. Which means we gain an extra 20% to our tax. There we go, we make 83 now per month, which is fantastic. I'll just show you guys, for those who don't know, you see, just move your mouse cursor over here and you can see when your order belongs to this faction, you gain plus 20% national tax, which is fantastic. We have a scorned family, the Badonid, because we need a new governor. And I have really crap governors though. This guy's just, which would be nice, but I'm going to put him. He's the best man for the job, even though he is pretty, pretty bad. Oh, he's really bad. I really need some more characters. I'm probably going to have to invite some at some point as well. Uh, what about the conversion here? How's it going? It's not too bad, actually. Um, oh, no, the conversion is pretty much full. Yeah, I'm probably going to put you on cultural assimilation. You need to be on cultural assimilation as well, I think. Yeah, they do. They need to be on cultural assimilation. And this needs to also be on cultural assimilation. Yeah, it's going to cost us a lot of political influence, this is... Yeah, he's put cultural assimilation first. I don't want you to do that, my man. I need the religious conversion. Oh, that's a good idea, my friend. A good idea, but no. I would just want the religious conversion first, my man. Hopefully I've not done stupid and put someone who's dying. Oh, thank God he's not dying. That would have been horrible. If I put someone that was dying and changed all the policies and then he died, that would have been awful. Um, this is the religious conversion. Ow, whoa. All that is all canonite over here. Nearly. Apart from down here, these last tiny little bastions. Um, Pompeii, can I colonise? No. Yeah, they're very nearly. I'm going to change this now to cultural assimilation. There's only one place left, so it's not really that bad. I think this is all fine now. Yep, there we go. Look at that Canaanite religion spread. That's what I want to see, people. That's what I want to see. It's nice, it's juicy, and it's fantastic. Anyway, let's get back to building these slave estates. So built one there, here's an extra 0.23 for it being built there, 0.23 there, 0.23 there, 0.18 there, wow, 0 0.20, 0.18, 0.16, 0.22, yeah, there's just so many places here that we can do stuff, 0.18, this should go pretty quickly. What's this? 0.09, not enough. 0.15, that could be done there. And now I need to save some more cash. And then once we get all this done, we should really, really start raking in the cash. Oh, because we definitely need it. <laughs> we definitely, definitely, definitely need it. Funic. Yep, yeah, it's all going smoothly so far. Temujin, you want marble? Here we go. So now the mines have started to kick in, and now we're getting a lot of offers. Now we make a fair bit of cash. I'm not going to go for the national commerce income. I'm definitely going to go with the national citizen output here. Just because we can actually get a bit more tech. What's the next? What do we get here? Capital import. Oh, monthly wages for characters. That would be nice. And overseers as well for the national slave output. Oh, there's quite a few things that I really want. Anyway, Granary Fire. It has come to our attention that one of the main grain stores in the province of Thrabacania was engulfed in an unfortunate conflagration last night, along with much of the stockpile contained within. I lose a bit of money. Oh, uh, for God's sake. Where's Thrabacania? Need to have a look where that is. Oh, it's here. Do I have enough food? Yeah, it's unwise to tempt the gods a second time. That's fine. I mean, I can, I'm not gonna. I don't want to lose the cash because I need it to build my buildings. 
Um, Civic Advancers, that is fantastic. That is more commerce income, more pot capacity, and the extra available tech, as said before. Now, we keep going for the slave estates here, people. That's definitely what we need to do. Um, someone died. Who was that? Um, the governor of Mauritania died. Okay, so we need to sort that out. So what we're going to here, 0.21, an extra 0.15 here. And that's not enough to justify it. Where can... Oh, 0.19 here. That can definitely justify it. 0.15. Um, 0.15 here. 0.12. 0.14. Why not? Let's keep it all going. And now let's put the governor of Mauritania in. Where is the region of Mauritania? Oh, it's all down here. I need a new governor. And hopefully I can put the best man for the job. Nope, you're crap. Because you have that monthly um, lo local citizen output, which I don't want. Local fort defence could be cool. Province commerce could be nice. I'm probably going to put you... Yeah, well, I'm going to put you. I'm going to put Hanno Bedona, just because I can. Um, what policy is he put? The religion is fine. The culture is okay-ish. But I would like to... Yeah, I'd definitely like to convert. So we're going to keep... Oh, it's, it's... oh, he has put religious conversion. Thank God, he's not stupid. He's put the right thing. That's great. <laughs> that is great, that is great, that is great. Now there's only two bastions of, Punis, of um, um, Numidian culture here. Or Massilian culture here. We have some down here, I know, but it will get done on its own. Anyway, let's keep going rolling. So what's going on in the world? I'm hard to look in the world, actually. This Senomania is getting really big. They're going to be a real big worry. Um, what do they want? They want fish. Yapodia want fish, no problem. Uh, so in Gaul, we don't really have a big major power. We have really just these guys here. I mean, bloody hell, Senomania are big. In Iberia, it's pretty fragmented. Uh, the fridge is just like... Oh, the fridge is piss weak now. Egypt is still going strong, and they're actually stronger than they started with, to be honest. The Saluk is still going. I thought they would have blown up by now. They've actually managed to eat a bit of Moria, which is very interesting, actually. Normally, it's the other way around. Parthia has been formed. Okay. Uh, Armenia's getting eaten. Oh, well, there's two Armenias. There's, uh, Armenia's been split in half. Getia's pretty big. Macedon, yeah, they're going fine. They're pretty much like at the start. Nothing's really much has changed. Um... And, yeah, Rome is pretty much gone, as we know. And Carthage, yep, we're going nice and strong. Can I colonise? Yes, I can. Can I colonise here? No, I can't. We've nearly got the whole of the island here, which is great. Um, Ancona wants stone. No problem, be my guest. All of it there is Canaanite. What about the Punic stuff? Is it slowly going? Yeah, look at that. Slowly getting taken. It is fantastic. Now we have more cash. Let's keep going for the slave estates. But we'll quickly do this here. They want stone. No problem. Now let's slave estate the hell out of the place, people. Uh, Milpolis Bedona died. He was a former consul. Interesting. Build one there. 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 And here's not enough. Don't justify it. 0.7. Oh, plus 017 there it does. Here, 015, it justifies it. 011, yeah, that can justify it. That doesn't. Here, it doesn't. Here, it doesn't justify it at all. Here, it does. There, not enough for me. 0.11, I can have that, that's fine. Um, okay, Suffet Abdomon offers friendship. So who are you? He's a Suffet of Emporia. Okay. Oh, he's a leader of the uh, Emporia, so he's my vassal down there. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll become friends with you, mate. Uh, these guys want what? Epirus wants stone. Wow, we have a load of trade offers here. Ambaria wants stone as well. Yeah, it's because all the mines have kicked in. They want wood, that is fine. And Concania want fish. Be my guest. So, an influential family. So, Melkart Sammer, the, the renowned Barkid family, has decided to... Uh, has dine, uh, Dane, sorry, to offers the support of his family's vast network of contacts in a bid to the better reorganised bureaucratic system. Oh, yeah. Why not? Change government policy cost minus 25% for five years. Why not? Yeah, that's fine. I'll definitely have some of that. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. We are making 83 gold per month. It will increase once all of this has been built, which would be great. There's just so much stuff to build and there's like so much potential, economic potential here that we could use to good effect, which is why I want to do this. Um, I guess the expansion's down. I suppose I could do a little war against Masapia, to be honest. Once it hits zero, I will. Just because Masapia, they don't have Rome as an ally, really. I mean, Rome have a little bit of cash. Masapia, they have quite a bit, but I'll just hire these mercs so they can't hire them and I'll just destroy them with mercs. I don't really even need to use my armies, to be honest. We can just take them out with mercs. Save us using, um, using our manpower. Anyway, slave estate. Let's keep going. Uh, what about down here? Is there anything useful down here? 0.19 there. Hell yes. 0.15 there. 0.12 here. 
Uh, that's not worth it down there. Definitely not worth it. Here, not worth it. 0.14, worth it. 0.13, worth it. 0.11, yep, why not? 0.14, worth it. What do they want? They want horses, be my guest. Is it worth it down here? Yes, it is. Definitely worth it down there. Then we're going to make our way across here. I mean, look at all the stuff we've got to build. Jesus Christ. We've got so much. That's worth it here, maybe. Yep, there's worth it. Let's check down here then afterwards. Um, what Y'all want grain? Be my guest. 0.14 there. That's worth it. 11 there's worth it. Yeah, there's quite a few that are worth it down here. Oh, we have some bobs. And, oh, what I need to do, I forgot to move that here, the acute event. So now I can actually see what's going on. So we have a little minor event. Against stability, but lose political influence. Yeah, why not? It gets us above the 50 threshold for political influence, which, would always, which is always nice. I'm probably going to... Hmm. Should I... I'm very tempted to... Yeah, I am. I'm going to actually install Provincial Procurators again. Just to get that pot production up. I don't need the political influence just yet, so we might as well. So that is now done and dusted. Oh yeah, where are the bobs, by the way? I forgot about that. Yeah, this governor is going to wipe him out. Yeah, let's go and get him. Oh, he can't. This governor will, then. I could probably put you on force march, man. Yeah, I'm going to put you on force march. Let's go and deal, let's go and deal with the guy. Quickly wipe out them damn barbarians. We're going to be really annoying. Masavia Barlib died. And who are you, my friend? Okay, let's go and kill them bobs. And who is Masavia Barlib? It was the Kahan. Okay. So I need a new Kahan. I'm going to put Yahomik Barka. Because you're the best man for the job. Okay, we are going to destroy them barbs. Thank goodness for that. Here we go. We're now making 94 gold per month. And it is going to increase even more as we continue to build these buildings. What do you guys want? Alabroja want horses? Fine. Be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. They're going to attack me again. What idiots. Are you serious? Are they just going to just please kill them? Die. Um, let's go for some more slave estates. Let's see where it is viable. Um, before I actually do that, we captured a couple of slaves, got a bit of gold because of them barbs, but that's fine. Let's move you to the capital over here, or well, the province capital. And what we're going to do is keep the game rolling and keep building these slave estates. Um, 0.06, is that worth it? That's not worth it. Here, might be worth it a little bit. Yeah, why not? Down here, no. Down here, yes. There, also worth it. There is worth it as well. Oh, 0 0.18, hell yeah, that's so worth it. We'll do that in a minute. 0 0.14 is worth it. 0 0.15 worth it. 0 0.16 worth it. Um, okay, so Savet Bodies, uh, Boodies, Boodies, I'm going to call you Boodies, offers friendship. Who are you? So you're the Savet of Gymnasia. Yeah, why not? I'll be friends with you, mate. That's not a problem. Will you? Oh, I can integrate you. Yeah, I'm going to integrate you guys. So where's the influence? There we go. Start integration, 580. 20 odd years. Yeah, I'm going to integrate you guys. Boom. Because then, as I said, that gives us access to the, the um, precious metals, which then I can make surplus of and import to the capital. Anyway, I'm now going to end the episode here, guys. It's been about half an hour since I've been recording. As per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more great Imperial Auto Room content, also hit that subscribe button. Um, in the next episode, what we'll do is I'll continue building the rest of the slave estates. And I think we'll go to war against Masapia um, and Rome quickly. We'll just try and eat as much as we can here. We, I mean, we might as well. Yeah, we, a lot of our pops are level time, which means we can afford to get a bit more land. So um, we'll definitely do that. Quickly check the religion here, spreading like wildfire, which is all nice. And all that we need now is to just spread that goddamn culture. Um, anyway, yep, I will see you guys in the next one. Later, people, and thank you for joining me.